Okay then guys, welcome back again to another video on the Fox Deck YouTube channel. This time we talk about the iPad and the topic is how can you go ahead and change the alarm sound on your iPad? I would assume that you use the built-in version of the clock app because if you have some third-party clock apps available like alarm apps then the settings are going to be a little bit different so it depends on the app of course. So make sure to locate the clock app on your iPad like this and you can see I already have one alarm ready and available so I can click on that one and edit it or I can tap on the plus button and start a new one and there are a couple of different settings here as you can see of course so you can scroll through the slider and whatnot like this whatever you want but the other options are include uh, include like a repeat label and a sound so if you click on the sound you can go ahead and go to the itunes store and purchase some specific ringtones which are like normal songs only in different formats so you can purchase those and use them as ringtone as well as alarm or you can scroll down and pick from the ones are built in or third option is to pick one of the songs available so a couple of songs which i actually listen to are listed in here and if not you can click on pick a song and it moves you over to the Apple Music Library. So in case you are an Apple Music subscriber or if you have some songs here available, you can scroll through those and tap on the one right here. You can click on add it there and it just starts playing. So I'm going to cancel it. So yeah, you come back and hit save. Now you have the alarm sent to this specific time with this specific ringtone which is actually a music so this is how it works this is how you can enable it as i said for some third-party apps uh like i don't know what you use for example an app like this which is alarmy i quite like this one with this one yeah there are some options as well but the developers have to decide on exactly how it works so you need to just make sure to check it out within the settings of your uh specific alarm app so i hope you found this video useful if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll catch you in the next video peace out until then